I am back with another scheme. This time it is on the defensive side of the ball out of Minnesota's playbook. And the formation we'll be looking at is the wide nine. Now the wide nine is in multiple playbooks. But the only one I can think of as far as right now is Detroit, I believe. I can't think of any other playbook that has wide nine. I'll try to search it up and see what I can do. Um, see if I can find more formations. But the play we'll be looking at is Sugar Cover 3 Bluff. And we're going to go against, of course, an offense with no body blocking but the offensive lineman. Now, mm, excuse me. Now, what we're going to want to do is baseline, press, and shift. No, 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 I'm sorry, not shift. Baseline and press. And globally, we blitz the outside linebacker on the right side of the screen, and you will get either B gap or defensive end edge heat off the right side. Now, the thing about this is that you can't do it like some blitzes this year. Well, there I slide protect to the right and we get left edge heat because of how the offensive line slide protects this year. But because of how the blitzes are this year, we can't just take our defensive end on the left side of the screen, man them up with somebody and still get unslidable edge heat on the right side. It doesn't work that way. You have to send the five people or else it won't come in. It's not. It's a great blitz with good coverage behind it. I mean, as long as you make the right adjustments. But here, I'll be showing you the replay. Um, you'll see that AJ Hawk he takes the he takes the offensive lineman that Matthews is supposed to go into and gives Matthews the free space to go ahead right after the quarterback. Now, the only reason I'm standing in front of the center. It's simply because this is practice mode, and the way they play in practice mode is 10 times better than how they play in a game. Now, for left edge heat or dual edge, you want to baseline and press and re-blitz him. Now, the problem with that is that there will be those times when he will run into the offensive lineman and get stuck or get blocked, or the blitz will be delayed, and now I'm sending dual edge with no adjustments behind it. I know you see some people open and all that extra stuff, like the running backs open on his swing route and then you got the B receiver wide open, but there are no adjustments made behind this. It's all focused on a blitz, so do not say that everything is open because I know that. But the problem with that blitz is that he will run into somebody there we get B gap and edge heat off of the left side. But the other thing that we can do and see here, he almost runs into the offensive lineman, but still comes in time to get that sack that should have been there with Clay Matthews. Now, what I like to do is base a line, but re-blitz that DB and then press, you know, so this way he doesn't, he's not on that blitzing because when we press and re-blitz him, then he gets on that long blitzing angle that we don't want. But when we don't press and then re-blitz him, he gets that angle and he comes screaming right off the edge. And it's just like the first blitz. If they slide protect to the left, then we get edge heat off the right side. Even if they block a running back, if they slide protect to the right, we still get edge heat off the left side. I didn't show it in this video, unfortunately. I apologize for that. And there you can see our D, our D end coming off the left side. And the reason being is because the cornerback took the spade or took the lineman that the defensive end would have been on if he wasn't blitzing. Now, the only thing about this formation is uh, the run defense. Now, this isn't an every down kind of defense at all. This is not what you run every single down. This is like when you know your opponent is a pass heavy kind of dude and you want to send pressure at him. But as far as run defense goes, someone and we get beat gap and edge hit. But as far as run defense goes, all someone would do is just run 0-1 trap when you are inside zone. But this is something that you pull out on like a second and long or a third and long or fourth down so you can send heat up. I mean, this is something that you run every single down or you will get eight up every single down. But we will be bringing you guys run defense so this way you know you can mix this up within this playbook so you so you just don't have this blitz within your arsenal. Now, the coverage that I like to do, I like to take that DB that's on the left side, man him up with the X receiver, and what he'll do is he'll walk all the way over there and go in front of the X receiver. Basically giving you a better man coverage, and then I like to take the two defensive tackles and then mat him up with the two people that I think are on the crossing routes, and there he plays the in route like a god and picks it off. But I like to man him up with the two crossing routes that I think are coming, or I will man one person up with the crossing route, and I'll man the defensive tackle up 
with the running back because if they put the running back on a wheel route or if he's still on that swing route he'll still play i mean he'll go and play him because the way man to man plays on a running back when you man him up with a dn or defensive tackle is ridiculous this year now as i also excuse me i just got a text but i also like to put the free safety that's in a light blue up no not not that's in a light blue but the free safety that's in a with a strong safety that's in a deep blue on the left side, which is Hyde, I like to put him in a light blue, so I have two light blues coming down. Now, you have multiple choices. You can either play over top, to the inside, underneath. It all depends on where you want these light blues to play. And there you can see I'm in the tackle with the defense, well, with the running back. It's just based on what kind of coverage that you do want to play. You can also, I mean, we cannot get three-man heat out of this. I would try to lab up, see what I can get in the game. But we cannot get three-man heat out of this, so we can't just send three men on the left side, I mean on the right side, man up the two defensive end, man up the defensive end and the defensive tackle on the left side and still be good. But the block sheds that we get off of it, as long as we have our top block shedding players at the defensive end positions, and you play the right coverage, you'll be good to go. Like, this defense is great. Like I say, for third and long and fourth down and second and long, but as far as like an every down defense, this is not what you run. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back for more. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Expect more from me soon.